How's it going, everybody? This is the Erroneous One here with a new Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key update video. So, we did get a few new things in today, which are pretty, um, pretty exciting, actually. I was actually going, like, oh, this is, this is interesting. Um, and it leads me to, uh, to wonder what's going to happen tonight. Rather, tomorrow, but tonight's update. So, last night we got two updates for the Proud Plus quest that were added and the Proud Mode updates with the Zero AP campaign. So, numero uno, we did get the new Proud quest. We have 50 brand new Proud quests in the game. Um, for now, there's 100 of them. And we now have Zero AP um, for our Story Mode and for our Proud Mode quest. And that's all. Nothing else. So, people were kind of worried about this last night when the tweet got released. Um, how this is going to uh, just wreck the uh, Lux rankings for this uh, current um, solo slash party rankings event. Not the case now, now that we know that. Um, however, it does make Colosseum a bit easier for me because I am going to go through and carry on in Colosseum again because you can utilize Quest 470 to go refill your um, AP or yeah, your, uh, your SP gauge back really quickly. So that's nice. But it is kind of curious that they uh, only made the um, Proud Quest and the um, Story Quest uh, 0 AP. Uh, in particular, the Proud Quest ones, it kind of makes you wonder, it's like, it's almost like they're pushing us, um, or not pushing us, but giving, giving us that little nudge saying, hey, you guys should really go and finish off the Proud Mode quest, there's your AP, um, go, go do them while they're, there's their APs here, so I, I, I kind of wonder why they're doing that, since, why they're kind of going in that direction, um, because they mentioned also earlier in the tweet, um, they mentioned in particular that you should be uh, you are able to be level up your sleeping lion to past 25, and they were they actually like outright said, "Hey, you can get your sleeping lion past 25 now," um, or you have the ability to potentially get your sleeping lion past 25. So I'm kind of wondering why they are pushing the sleeping lion all of a sudden. It's just I don't know. It just seems odd that they're pushing that uh, in that manner, but whatever. We shall um, see. Uh, let me, sorry, I got that. Let me lower the volume there on that one. And, okay, there we go. So, the last one is going to be the Proud Plus quest right here, which I'll be doing this video. Um, I'm going to do one of them right now. I haven't seen anything to do with them at all just yet. I just got home from work, um, about 20 plus minutes ago. So, we're going to see how well that goes. Um, but we're going to get new Proud Quest every two weeks. So, that's kind of cool. Um... Yeah, see, even here, the Sun Gem is material that is necessary to strengthen the Sleeping Lion Keyblade plus, uh, plus 26. So I'm not sure if it does mention the Sleeping Lion because it's the first Keyblade we've gotten from the Proud Quest. Um, the next one we're going to get, I think, is going to be the uh, Counter Note or the counter the Counterpoint, which is going to be the, the blue version. So it'll have four upright magic and one reverse magic slot inside that one. And then the next one after that will be the Fenrir, which will be the power version of that. Um... So I'm not sure, that, again, if they just mentioned Sleeping Lion because it's what we already have or because they they are planning something with that particular Keyblade coming up pretty soon. I don't know. That's just very curious. But, again, we'll find out uh, later tonight. Um, bum, bum, bum. So, yeah. So there we go. Uh, the funny thing, or the main, the main not so much funny, the, the curious thing about this one is we got a random update last night. Now, normally on Wednesdays, we don't get update. Um, I was not planning for an update yesterday, uh, and it just kind of happened in the midst of the uh, of the raid hour. Um, I didn't even see it until after the raid hour was done last night. Because um, usually we get our updates on Thursday nights and on Sunday nights. Uh, so we got a pretty hefty update this morning with that. I mean, now granted, yeah, they were adding in this extra 50 um, Proud Quest, but it seemed pretty big. Uh, we also got two new medals added in the slots uh, as well. So that's something kind of curious too. Um... Let's go. I, mean, I wish I had a scroll to bottom option here. That'd be nice. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. So right here, um, Zigbar B was the last medal that was there previously. Now we have two more spots. So I'm kind of wondering what they did. Uh, I'm wondering if tomorrow we're going to see, or tonight, we're, we're going to get an update tonight. I'm pretty sure. Um, I wonder what it's going to contain. I wonder if anything from the updates that we got this morning, that big old upload, um, that download process, had anything to do with um, tonight's uh, tweet, uh, what they may be doing. Now, there is some rumors going about that they may be doing a uh, score assistance deal, potentially, um, with this one, but I don't really see that happening exactly because there aren't any extra medals, really, that you can get in here to boost with um, aside from the ones that are already there in the, uh, the new uh, Advent Metal Carnival banner. And the EMCs were usually um, there to help you get medals um, 
helping get medals pre that were uh, boosters for the high school challenge, but that were already uh, pre-released. <clears throat> Since this one is only uh, the booster are only the new medals. Um, I'm wondering. I mean, maybe they will do some kind of sc uh, score to this deal, where as opposed to being three dozen jewels, they'll do fifteen dozen jewels, and you'll only get five medals, but you're guaranteed one of the boosters. Um, more than likely, it's going to be the uh, you know the the shark, flotsam and jetsam, um, Halloween B, Donald and Goofy. Um, it, it's probably, probably going to be one of those more than likely. So that's more than likely that's to be that one, or uh, I don't know yet. We're, we're going to find out, obviously. But there are several things that could be coming uh, down the pipeline. Um, it'll be kind of curious to see what they get tonight. Um, I guess if it's, if it's something big and bad, you know, I might even do a video tonight uh, about the tweet. I don't foresee being anything too crazy, but you know, who knows? Um, if it's a score, if it's a score system steal, that might be beneficial to a bunch of players and will definitely make the high score challenge more um, competitive. Uh, so that'd be, that'd be good. But now that I have talked about the updates enough right there, um, let's go ahead and get into the uh, Proud Plus quest. Ah. Cat. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, actually, give me one thing, guys. I am going to go through here real fast, and I'm going to get my party another level 99 up to use. So somebody has a chance at getting... Somebody has a chance at getting a uh, young Kyrie. I actually got pretty good on my young Kai roll. Um, I did one roll of her already, and I got a 96 um, guilt roll on her, so that was pretty good. That was pretty good for that one. Not too bad. My cat is needy. All right. All right. Hopefully this will this will summon that level ninety nine. There we go. Cool. Let's jump into that real fast. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, cool. So now that we'll go up there for our party, and somebody will have a chance to get one of the young Kyries to get that thing leveled up. Um, Great. All right, so back into the events now. So let's go ahead and we'll do, well, I guess we'll do an order right now. Um, we'll go ahead and do the uh, power one first. That is going to be a level 400 Giga Shadow, um, which is spectacular. I love those so much. Um, okay, and all the objectives are just complete without having to continue. So that's rather ominous. Um, we'll go in with this set up here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with this up right here because it has my uh, Waffle Cloud with um, Attack Price Plus on it, as opposed to Lux Plus. And I will take uh, Malice Rebees, um Fully Guilted Key Art 1, just for just for um, SP replenishment. I'm not sure. These are level 400, so I'm pretty sure I'll be going in there kind of SP heavy. Um, oh, okay. So it's one of these setups. How many corridors are there going to be in there? Or how many warp points are there going to be in there? Um, okay, but they're level 400s as well. Alright, um, okay, cool. Well, we can take this, no problem. Do, 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 do. And I... Yeah, we'll use everything here. Hmm, she did not proc, unfortunately. That's okay. She did more than out there. Tap there. All right, cool. That was the first one then. Okay, so... Foreign Defenders. Okay, so for people... I mean, like I said earlier, I'm going to try and be a little more generalized uh, going through these um, 
with my sets because not everybody has act, not everybody has what I have um, metal wise. So it's looking like for this one. Um, It's going to be endurance. Um, you're going to need um, APPs to keep your SP gauges up. And it looks like if you guys aren't able to take them out in one hit, you guys might want to consider going in there um, with... Might want to start going in there with um, something, something like a, a defense boost 2 or a defense boost 3 if you have access to a defense boost 3. Um, that would probably be a best because right now my my illustrator Shion right now is pretty much wrecking shop. My illustrator Shion is also fully guilted, um, so again, not everybody has that one. So it looks like th this is gonna be doable, I think, for all players primarily, um, provided you have a defense boost two, uh, hopefully a defense boost three, but DB two at least, um, and some APPs of some kind, uh, preferably AB two plus APP. Um, if you guys aren't able to one turn these things, because uh, they are they are pretty hefty in terms of what they are uh, for sure. Um, definitely hefty. But yeah, I think if you go in there with like, I mean. Obviously, if you guys that don't have access to um, the defense boost twos uh, or to me APPs, you might want to also go in there with some stats abilities um, like paralyze or um, s sleep. But I probably go with paralyze or poison more than likely. That's level three, so I can go a little easier on this one. It looks like no cost one off there, which is good. But I definitely think some defense boost would be would be beneficial just to survive the hits. Okay, seven gauge. So is this kind of gauge intensive? Obviously, but it's still going pretty good. Okay, Giga Shadow. Okay, so this is a target. There's three of them. Oh wow, fourteen gar uh, gauges on that one. Whew. All right. Um. Oh man, I, unfortunately, I did not have. I did not have my no cost go off. Unfortunately, so that's gonna cause problems. I don't know how much gauge I can get back from all of this. Um, I will have Axel go off. Okay, it's not gonna be enough for Shion, unfortunately. Or for Waffle. Oh, crap. Okay, this is gonna be curious. Very curious. Okay. Um. I mean, I doubt I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna survive this guy's hit. It's a little 400 after all, so it's probably gonna kill me right here. Yeah. Okay, it's only a little bit above. That's not too bad. Um, cancel that one. Okay. That was interesting. Okay, so we. I mean, this this is this is doable for me. Definitely doable for me. I just need to go into with a with a different setup slightly to give me APP. Hmm. Trying to think what I, what I have with APP on it right now that I can put in there. Um. Actually, if Kyrie's no cost goes off, that should be fine. I just need I just need Kyrie's no cost to go off, and that will get me through the gauge consumption. So let's try that again. And let's roll. I mean, this September here is just me me rolling the RNG. On this one, which is not off to a good start, unfortunately, because there was that one already. Okay, so this time we're going to swipe here. We will she and go off? Clock and go off. What is it, APP? Okay, it wasn't too bad. All right, no cost went off there. That's good. Um, swipe and swipe and hopefully clouds AP goes off. It does go off. Good. 
All right, now if hopefully he goes off. Does not go off. I'm not sure if this can kill it off or not. Hmm, okay, that didn't work out. But I started, I started to hit, so that's fine. And now I can just tap and tap. Okay, so now we're at full gauge. Now I'm not worried about going a little more aggressive. But even so, I don't need... I don't think I need... Um, well, I'm not going to risk it. I don't think I needed Axel to go off here. Probably could have been fine with just Shion. And a Waffle Cloud. And then the Key Art 2. Like here, for instance, I'm definitely not going to activate Axel. No cost was off again, which is great. That's what I was looking for. And I will swipe here and then hopefully APP triggers. It does trigger. But I don't think my key art can take that out. So I will activate Nova here. There we go. And hopefully I'll, I'll have enough to take out the Giga Shadow with its 14 health bars. I don't know. We'll find out if that was a mistake or not. All right. Alright, hopefully she on procs. Please, please, please proc. And she does proc. That was good. Hopefully Cloud procs too. He does not proc, unfortunately, but... I don't think it's going to be enough again. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be enough. Well, he proc. That's... He might... Maybe... Oh, he did do it. Awesome. Okay, cool. Okay, so that was that one. So that's... I mean... That's definitely tricky. Um, you're definitely, like I said, if you don't have access to what I have right there, um, you're definitely going to need to go in there with uh, Defense Boost 2s. Hopefully Defense Boost 3s probably be way better for you. Um, some APPs for sure, and maybe like a status plus or two. Um, I, guess it, I guess depending on what status ability you want on there would depend upon what you're going to run through with your uh, metal setup. Um, by that I mean like, if you have enough, if, if you're fighting them and you have like just like a bit of health left at the end of your fights and you have poison, you might want to run poison on there and then attempt to poison it, um, that way it'll knock out the last bit of life for you. Um, if you don't have enough for that one, uh, then you're probably going to wander on with like Paralysis Plus. I would generally say Sleep Plus 2 as well if you have access to a Sleep Plus, but I think Paralysis or Paralysis Plus preferably we better offer you, mainly because the higher level enemies, um, statuses don't really affect them as much, unfortunately, so it's a less of a, of a chance for them to go off and actually stick for that one. But there is that. That was definitely something else. That was, that was interesting. Um, 30, so we've got Dales from this one, there's the coins, and there's a Sun Gem. Nice. Nice. All right. Um, let's go ahead and go into back one. So, for now, I think this is a bit a bit longer video. Um, so I'll end it here, and then I'll come through and I'll do a video for the other two. Um, right after this one now. So, uh, that was it. That was the first proud uh, plus quest. Uh, level four hundred enemies. So we are definitely starting to get up there. This is definitely. I mean, this is a big jump. We went from level forty fives, and then they doubled it to level ninety, and then they du they didn't quite double it, but they went to level one forty. And then they went to level 280, so they doubled at that time. And this is, like, not quite doubling it again, but it's definitely a pretty big jump, um, for sure, uh, going in this one. And this is fun. This is challenging. I'm actually enjoying this one uh, quite a bit. Uh, it's a shame that these proud quests right here, the proud pluses, aren't 0 AP. Um, but that's okay. You know, something can get around quite easily. It's no big deal. But those are the events now. Uh, I'll be coming back to you guys uh, pretty soon with the um, speed and magic versions of the Proud Plus class. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please sure to give me a thumbs up so I know you guys are having fun with it. Uh, let me know how you guys did uh, in this one as well too. Um, hopefully the advice I gave in there in terms of like you know setup usage, which was I mean it was basic basic ideas, but I mean I think I think what I said it would, would be enough to get you guys through it. But if I guys help you guys out, uh, be sure to leave me in a comment down below uh, how you guys did. Uh, other than that, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day.